Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your love horoscope for September 2019. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Gemini. Show Gemini the messages they need to see for September 2019. Gemini love. Gemini love. Gemini. Whoa. All right. Death, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles. Okay. I have to straighten my cards. I can't focus. <laughs> That's the Virgo in me. I do have a Gemini moon and I always resonate with the Gemini sign really well so let's see what we got here Gemini this is a general reading general love reading for Gemini Sun Moon rising and Venus it's not going to resonate with everyone out there but if I am picking up on your energy today please don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button below the video to let me know that if I'm not connecting with your energy, check the link in the description box below so you can get a free astrology chart. Find out your moon and your rising sign and go watch those other two videos. You really should watch all three all the time anyway. It will give you the best insight on your situation. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you. I love my subscribers, love doing these readings. I love helping people. It really makes me happy to know that I'm helping people to make decisions, confirming what it is that they already know, actually. You already know in your gut what's coming up, what you need to do, but a lot of people just look to the tarot cards for clarification of that. I do like to say, be careful with your decisions because these are general readings. If you really want insight on your situation, you should always obtain a personal reading. I am not doing those at this time. However, there's many awesome readers on YouTube that will be more than happy to help you. I would like to pause my camera for a minute. I just like to look at the cards, get my numbers together, see what's going on, and I'll be right back. Okay, Gemini, the first card that you have for your past is the Five of Swords, which is the sign of Aquarius. And that's a disagreement, a fight, an argument. Someone who is determined to win this fight, no matter what it is that they have to do. It's about conflict and tension, a challenging situation. I feel like this person just doesn't even want to hear what you have to say. And the next card that we have is the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but I feel like it's you. I feel like someone's very upset about this argument. They want to let go. I do call her the upset mother and she is looking at the six of pentacles where there's two children. So you could have two children. That's why this other person is holding on. But this is somebody who's emotionally exhausted, maybe even crying. They want to let go. Ten of wands in reverse, sign of Sagittarius. They don't want to carry this heavy load anymore. Releasing this burden. And then look what's coming into your present. The Six of Swords. Going away from that argument, that fight, that disagreement, that conflict. Towards your dreams, towards your wishes. Leaving the drama behind. Sign of Aquarius again. That's what this argument is about. Somebody wants to go in a new direction. It's like transition. With that death card, this is a transition. 
This is a major life change for someone. And the two sixes together tells me that this is about family. Somebody wants to do this for their family, for their children. The six of pentacles is the sign of Taurus. Somebody wants to go towards this equal give and take. They're not getting it here. Like I feels like somebody needs help or something here. Somebody's saying that they can't do all of this their self, so they want to leave. But it is about equality, being fair in your decision, going towards someone who's going to realize your value. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, sign of Virgo. Well, somebody doesn't want to be single. Somebody doesn't have the confidence to be alone, so they're holding on. This could be a situation around you. I'm getting heavy earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also getting Aquarius straight across the top of this reading. It's like you're the one that's waiting for the King of Pentacles to come towards you. And this Queen of Cups is not letting go of the earth sign. Because someone's wishes here are death. Not death of a person. An ending. The ending of this relationship. Someone wishes it would end. It's like she's holding on to this person for their money because she can't be a single mom. Like she doesn't have confidence in herself to be a single mom and take care of the kids. So she's holding on to this King of Pentacles and he's stuck. And you want him to end this with her. You're waiting, waiting for him to leave and come towards you. Because, I mean, how could someone's wishes and dreams be to have the death card? Because I'm kind of feeling good about the earth sign. I just feel like he's a stable, good guy. I feel like he's got a job. I feel like he's got money. So I can't understand why you would want to leave him. But in your future, I mean, we do have the star card. Sign of Aquarius again. That's somebody's wishes coming true. Somebody going towards their dreams. Having faith. Having faith that this is going to end. There is a lot of healing here also. Healing from this argument. I feel like you're having an argument with this earth sign. To let go of this water sign. And come towards you. But he can't do it. The death card, I mean. Sign of Scorpio. That's what you want. But it's on hold. It is in the future. But I don't know if it's happening yet. I feel like it's going to happen. It's transformation. It's endings. Closing the chapter. A major change. When the death card comes, that's a major change. And with the six of pentacles, I feel like this is a family issue. Like this person has a family. And they've been together for a long time. It's like a big decision for someone to make. Your major arcana cards are in the upright position. So the universe is here and you are going in the right direction. I do definitely feel that, that this relationship is for you. But your final outcome card is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's stuck energy. And it's attached to the Four of Pentacles, which is someone holding on to the money. That's why this can't end. There's like a materialistic person here. I'm getting that with the nine, the knight, and the four. Somebody just doesn't want to be in this relationship, but this other person is just holding on to the money. And that's leaving this whole situation stuck. It's broken promises, you know? Like, I feel like this person has told you they're coming, they're going to end it. They'll be there soon. I just need a little more time putting it off, putting it off. And every time they try to leave, this other person comes up with some kind of something to hold on to them a little longer. The Four of Pentacles is, you know, mine, mine, mine. And you can't have it. And the King of Pentacles is your overall energy. I feel like that's your wishes. That's what you want to go towards. But you want him to end something. What do we got under there? Up, oh, yep, three of cups in reverse. There's definitely three people here. 
the four of swords somebody's thinking thinking what should I do should I let go of this situation because he's never going to come towards me she's just going to keep holding on or should I wait a little longer somebody needs a break let's get a few romance angels romance angels what is going on here I can't seem to figure out who is stuck and why you have no cards in this reading Gemini I do have air here but I'm feeling Aquarius your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path like this person has beliefs they just can't leave their family and their children and they, they just can't do it hmm that's like the hierophant to me this guy believes in tradition and old school and flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so I feel like that's what you're saying to him well you know just flirt with the idea of maybe you can do this maybe you can do this just listen to me for a minute maybe we can work it out this way and he's just said I just heard I can't leave I can't leave somebody can't leave <sighs> trust the situation is calling for you to have faith Gemini I feel like oh look we have this could be the one I feel like this is going to happen for you if you're waiting for this earth sign to come towards you it's going to happen but I just don't know when uh, Aquarius is what February end of January I mean that would be six months we got two sixes here I feel like this is going to be like six months Gemini if this is resonating with you at all let's get some advice from the guardian angels guardian angels what messages do you have for Gemini what does Gemini need to know about this reading on the table show them the message they need to see ace of Pentacles this tarot brings wonderful news a windfall of I'm sorry yeah ace of Pentacles is that what I said ace of Pentacles oh my goodness I'm like I need more coffee <laughs> all right this tarot brings wonderful news a windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans these resources may involve money advice or assistance in getting things done it's a good time to start a new venture change careers or go into business for yourself there may be important contracts to sign now that would be the divorce if this guy's married but those are advice cards and that is your advice is to go for the new beginning I feel like this person is right for you but I feel like you're gonna have to wait if you really want them you're gonna have to trust you're gonna have to have faith with it being the ace of Pentacles you could have some money coming in that's gonna like help you get through this because it says help um, and I was feeling that with the six of Pentacles like getting help can you not go towards this person because you don't have enough money maybe they're at a distance oh my gosh now we got the ace of cups really <laughs> uh, Queen of Swords there you are finally Gemini I'm like where is Gemini in this reading all right we'll read that one too but let's check out this ace of cups this cherub is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life you may meet someone new who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening it's also possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart I mean your advice is go for the new beginning and the Queen of Swords it's time to clean up the clutter in your life get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized people who take from you but don't give back should be released as well 
You or another person in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. Um, with that card coming up at the end, I feel like it is possible that you are taking on the Queen of Cups energy and you're trying to leave this earth sign, but you don't have the confidence in yourself to end this and go towards your dreams. You know, I always say these are general readings. There's so much going on here. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I am going to leave this thought here. It is time to clean up the clutter and get rid of what no longer serves you. Very important message and have a new beginning. Beautiful advice. Also know that this can resonate in some other area of your life. Doesn't have to be love, but that's just what I was focused on. Good luck with your situation, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.